Hello everyone, welcome back to Continental Food and Cake TV. If today is your first time here, you are highly, highly welcome. My name is Joy Joy. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make Nigerian sausage roll. It tastes so delicious and it is yummy. It's a yummy snack. So if you've not made sausage roll before, this video is for you because in this video, you're going to learn how to make sausage roll. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is to make the dough for the sausage roll. To do that, you need flour. I'm using plain flour, 800 gram, but you can also use self-rising flour. But if you're using self-rising flour, please do not add baking powder. Next, I add one and a half teaspoon of baking powder. After that, I add half a teaspoon of salt. Then add 300 gram of cold butter. After adding the butter, with a clean hand, I mix the butter and the flour together until I achieve a breadcrumbs consistency. This step is very important. If you want the end result of your sausage roll to be soft, flaky, you have to make sure that you mix your butter and flour together until you achieve that breadcrumbs consistency before you add any other ingredients. After mixing until it's well combined, next add 4 eggs and I'm breaking the egg in a different bowl because I don't want the shell of the egg. Please check the decision box, you're going to find all the lists of the ingredients. If you've not subscribed and you're new here, please hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up. Do not forget to leave your comment, I love reading comments and also turn on your notification bell so that whenever I upload new video, you'll be the first to get it. Next. Add one teaspoon of nutmeg for that flavor, then add half a teaspoon of turmeric. But you can leave it out completely if you don't want your sausage roll to be yellow in color. Sometimes I make sausage roll without adding turmeric. So now I'm mixing together to form a dough. Make sure you mix together. So to form a dough from this, you can use water or you can use milk, but I'm using whole milk. You can also use skim milk and if you don't have all of these, you can just add two tablespoons of powder milk so now I'm adding the milk but when you're adding your milk to make your dough please add bit by bit like little by little because with this dough you don't want the consistency to be too soft or too hard you just want it to be a non-stick dough that's the consistency you should be going for because what will happen if you if your dough is too soft you find it difficult to roll it thin when you're rolling it so you have to be careful when you're adding any liquid if you're using water or you're using milk add the milk bit by bit until you achieve the right consistency which is a non-stick dough after i mix the dough in the bowl for like five minutes to knead it i transfer to a clean surface you have to make sure your surface is clean then transfer the dough and start kneading because if you're kneading it in the bowl you might find it difficult so i prefer to knead mine in a clean surface next knead your dough for at least four to five minutes please do not over knead your dough because if you do it's going to become stretchy we're going for that flaky texture so it's a no no to over knead your dough once it's four to five minutes stop if possible put a timer after kneading the dough this is what the dough looks like as you can see it's not staining my finger it's a non-stick dough very flexible because once you allow this dough to relax it becomes softer so i'm going to wrap the dough in a food bag allow it to rest by the time i come back the consistency will change that is why when you're making your dough from the scratch make sure you do not over add water or milk whatever liquid you're using because if it's too soft you find it difficult to roll it thin next step is to prepare the sausage today i'm using chicken and beef but you can use any sausage of your choice next i use the scissors to cut so that it will be easy for me to peel off the skin of the sausage
After peeling the sausage, to enhance and boost the flavor of the sausage, you need to add seasoning. And I'm adding one teaspoon of curry powder, one teaspoon of ginger powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of mixed herb, one and a half teaspoon of chicken seasoning, one tablespoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of smoked paprika. After that, I mix together until it's well combined. Please, please, you have to make sure that when you're mixing this, you mix until it's well, well combined. And that's why I wear my hand glove to make sure I mix until it's well combined. But you can also use wooden spoon, but trust me, you want to use your hand and mix it really well. After mixing until it's well combined, cover it and keep it aside to rest for at least 10 minutes before you use it. It makes a whole lot of difference. So next, I'm going to show you all the tools you need to make your sausage roll. You need a rolling pin, a cutter and a knife. That is, if you don't have a pizza cutter, you use a knife. So going back to the dough, the dough has been resting for at least 20 minutes. You can even make this dough a day before, keep it in the fridge and bring it out the next day and use it. So next, I flour a clean surface. This is going to help the dough not to stick. After that, you can now take the amount of dough you want and roll it until it is flat. So that is why when you're making your dough, you have to make sure it is not too soft because if you is soft, this is where you're going to struggle to roll it thin because you need to roll this thin. After rolling your dough until it's flat and thin, next, take the pizza cutter and cut the dough into rectangle shape. After cutting the dough into rectangle shape, the next step is to take the sausage roll filling. With a spoon, scoop and place in one side of the dough. Remember, it's a rectangle shape, so you have to use the longer parts. That's where you want to place your sausage roll filling. And when you're placing it there, make sure it is the same from the beginning to the end. And also leave a small space so that when you want to lift and fold the dough, it will be easy for you to lift and wrap. Next, break one egg and add some milk to it. Mix it together to combine. You need it to brush the top of the sausage roll. Also, you need it to brush the end of the dough so that when you're rolling and folding, it's going to seal. So after that, lift the dough and fold once. When you're lifting, please be gentle with it. So after lifting it once and fold, then use your hand and push to seal. So once you've sealed it and it's secure, lift it again and fold. Fold it until you fold it up. After folding, next use a knife and trim the end of the sausage, the dough, the excess dough. So to measure, I'm using a skewer that I cut and when I place it, I poach to make sure that when I Want to cut it is the measurement is there already why i'm doing this is that i want the sausage roll to be the same size but if you don't want it to be the same size you don't, you don't have to do this you can just cut it just you know cut it with your knife After cutting the sausage roll, the next step is to transfer to a baking tray. So with my baking tray, I just uh, apply some butter, but please do not do that. After applying some butter, just add the flour and just dust out the excess because 
when I finish baking this, I find it difficult to, you know, remove the, the sausage. So I don't want you to struggle when you're doing that. But you can use a baking sheet to line your baking tray. So I roll the rest off camera and this is a finished result. So next is to take the egg wash and brush the top of the sausage. It's a very important step. Because if you don't do this, your sausage roll is not going to come out golden brown. You know that golden brown finish. You're not going to get it. So this step is very, very important. After brushing the top of the sausage roll with the egg wash, next step is to transfer to a preheated oven 170 degrees Celsius or 338 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 to 35 minutes depending on your oven. 35 minutes later, look at this yumminess. It is baked, it is cooked golden brown. Yummy, beautiful. It looks so yummy that you want to just grab and start eating. Please, if you watch this video and you want to try this recipe, let me know on YouTube, let me know on Instagram, leave your comments, give this video a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed, please, I'm begging you subscribe to my channel. I upload two videos every week and I'm going to show you new way to cook, new way to bake, show you new recipe. Just like this sausage roll that I showed you today, the recipe called for 400 grams of butter, but I cut it down to 300 because you don't really need it. You don't want to go to gym all the time. So I'll show you ways to cook the food that you love in a healthy way. So please hit that subscribe button. You can also follow me on Instagram, continentalfood.cake. Do not forget to check the description kitchen boss you're going to find the list of the ingredients and this is what the sausage will look like when i break it do you see how yummy this is it is flaky the dough is flaky it's, it's just yummy it just melts into your mouth so please hit that subscribe button i love you all and i will see you in another one Bye bye